Hello and welcome to another one of these ADD videos. Today we're going to look at enzyme kinetics, a closer look. These are some terms that you should be familiar with if you're going to be discussing the kinetics of an enzyme. So the first we're going to look at is called the turnover number. And the turnover number is literally, as the name implies, how many products does the enzyme turn over, or it's a measure of an enzyme's catalytic activity. So in essence, that that's the symbol for turnover number is kcat, and that's going to be k2. So if you remember the equation, v max equals k2 times the total enzyme concentration. That's known. Then we can solve for K2 or K cat and get V max over enzyme total concentration. Okay. <clears throat> so basically represents uh, the kinetic efficiency of the enzyme. How quickly does it turn over? Uh, there are some enzymes like catalase, <coughs> sorry about that, catalase that uh, literally will convert 40 million products per second. That's pretty impressive. Per second. And then some enzymes won't even complete a whole product per second, so like a lysozyme. All right, so that's what a turnover number is. Now let's talk about the ratio of k cat to km. In other words, the catalytic efficiency of an enzyme, not the kinetic. This one up here was the kinetic efficiency. Now, I'm going to talk about the catalytic efficiency. And that's going to be the ratio of K cat over K N. Usually under physiological conditions, we are far from the saturating concentrations uh, for our substrate. It's the concentration so low that um, we often don't have our active sites occupied with the substrate. So uh, we still can calculate this catalytic efficiency by doing a little bit of math. If you remember the equations, uh, okay, let's submit an equation. Oh, no, we're being invaded by puppies. They broke free. Sorry, guys. I'm going to have to pause. Okay, sorry about that. Um, we have now, yes, okay, we're doing the michaela smitten equations. And if we plug in the equation, in for Vmax right there,
we get So, when we have the situation in which the substrate concentration is much smaller than the Km, what happens is the substrate concentration in the denominator becomes negligible. And whenever that happens, negligible, uh, we can say that Km plus S is approximately equal to just the Km. That will be the dominant term in the denominator. Uh, so, what will happen is we will now get this equation. Right there. So the ratio of k cat to k m gives you an index of the catalytic efficiency. It's basically that's your new k for the velocity equation. The rate equals k times the products, right? So that's an index for your um, catalytic efficiency. So if we were to just look at the ratios when we restrict ourselves to k cat being k2 only in this condition, we get this ratio of k cat for km. Oops, it's just your catalytic efficiency. Uh, it will equal K1 and K2 over plus K2. But the K1 must always be greater than this. In other words, what we're saying, the reaction can't go any faster than what was K1. Do you guys remember? K1 is the rate at which the enzyme substrate forms, and that kind of makes sense, right? We can't go any faster than the, the enzyme substrate forms for the entire reaction, right? So the limiting step is the formation of that uh, enzyme substrate complex. So we cannot exceed the diffusion uh, rate of the uh, combination of enzyme substrate to form the enzyme substrate. Alright, um, that's pretty much it. Know that we can't really um, look at enzymes in, certain, in molar concentrations. What we do is we look at their molar activity. And what we describe is one international unit is the amount that it, the enzyme catalyzes the formation one micromolar product per minute. What's that amount that catalyzes? Oh, need some more space. The formation of one. 
one micro mole in one minute, however much that amount is. All enzymes, you know, are sent are optimal fun in function at different pHs, temperatures, uh, ionic strengths. So you got to specify what conditions we're talking about here. And some people use the definition of catal or the unit of catal, sorry, and that's the amount that the enzyme catalyzes conversion of one mole of substrate to product in one second. So Trying to squeeze that in, I have a lot of space uh, to product in one second. Now, the conversion factor for catals to IUs is one catal. I'll do that in blue. One, no, I guess we're sticking in red. One catal equals six times ten to the seventh I use. All right. So that's a brief rundown on the concepts of turnover number measures of catalytic activity, basically K two. Uh, I'm sorry, turnover number is kinetic activity. Uh, basically K2, and then the ratio of K-cat to K-n being the catalytic activity, all right? So um, make sure you know how to calculate both and what they stand for. Hope this has clarified things, and make sure you check out the example videos for some calculations dealing with these.